Hello, hello. My name is Corinne from the North Valfrey Library with Lakeland Library Region, and welcome to episode 36 of Boredom Busters. I don't know about you guys, but to me, the beginning of March is always such a weird time weather-wise. It's usually half winter, half spring, cold in the morning, warm in the afternoon, sun in the day, snow splash rain at night. And it's because of all of these opposites that I thought today's craft might be fun to do an opposites theme. So we are going to do a sun and moon watercolor. What you'll need for today. A sheet of cardstock or thick paper, a permanent marker, a large bowl or lid to trace around, wax crayons, and some watercolor paint and paint brushes. I do have these watercolor crayons that I can use to skip a step, or I have these tempura paint discs, which are kind of like a watercolor. So I am going to use both just so that I know what the difference is in the future. I am going to be mostly doing a voiceover with this and switch to the overhand camera so you guys can see what I'm doing with my hands. Let's get started. So we're starting off with our blank sheet of paper and then we're just going to put our bowl on top and we're just going to trace out where we want our sun and moon to be. I did try to get mine into the middle of the page so I've traced a perfect circle. And now you need to draw a crescent moon shape on one side and then add in a little nose just to give it more of a face-like quality. And now to add to our faces, we are going to add an eye on either side of the crescent. So on my moon side, I'm gonna have a closed eye with my little lashes coming out. And then on the other side, I'm gonna draw a nice wide awake eye. So I've made my eye shape, put my pupil in, put my iris in, and then add some lashes as well. And to finish off our face, we're just going to add a mouth that goes across both. So I'm, I think I'm going to turn this into lip. And then my upper with that little bit of that Cupid's bow. There we go. Much better. Now we need to make this look a little bit more like the sun and the moon. So I am going to go through and add some rays on my sun side. So you can do this a straight lines or triangles. I'm gonna try and be a little bit more artistic and make kind of wavy points. They're not all the same. They're not that pointy or if they are pointy they aren't wavy but I enjoy it. I think it looks pretty. So that's all that matters. It doesn't matter that I'm not a world-class artist or anything like that. I just enjoy creating something. And then on the moon side, I'm just gonna draw some stars. Not the greatest stars. And that is our drawing. So now our drawing is complete, but it looks plain. We need some colors. So I am going to color in my sun side with warm colors like red, orange, and a little bit of yellow. And I'm going to do my moon side with some cool colors like blue and purple. I'm going to use wax crayons, my watercolor crayons, and that tempura paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the watercolor colors crayons to color in the big sections on my faces and then I'm going to use the wax crayons to go through and kind of do my details like my lips here and then I will go through with the tempura paint to kind of do the background. 
So with the watercolors, because I am, it's doing a watercolor wash over it, I won't have to color it in completely. So that's why I'm using the wax crayons to highlight my details. Now I'm going to go through and do a bit of an outline with that nice bright orange, just again to help make my uh, shapes pop a little bit more. And I'm going to go through with this nice blue on my moon side. Again, just to help the shape pop a little bit more. And now I'm gonna go through with my eyes. I've got kind of an orangey yellow that I'm going to outline my eye in. And color the inside of where our eyes would be white. And I'm taking a yellow to go in for the iris. And I'm also using the yellow on the eyelashes. I wasn't very good at being in frame with this, sorry guys. I'm using that yellow to go and color in my rays. I'm worried that the yellow isn't gonna stand up the greatest, so I am going through with a, another color. I'm going in with that nice dark orange again and outlining again. I mean, yes, you'll see the black, but I just kind of wanted to help outline it all, so. I also wanted to add a little bit of um, continuing. So I'm going through and coloring in the stars with the same yellow that I used for the rays, just because the sun and the moon are in the same sky, so I kind of wanted to, even though we're doing something with opposites, I still wanted to highlight that, so I'm just kind of drawing circles around my stars just to help them stand out a bit more. And I'm just going in and adding some freckles, I think, on my moon as well with this light purple. Just because I thought that might be a little bit cute. And I just really wanted to make sure that the blue stood out, so I'm going in again with a different shade of blue to outline the difference in the faces. Because the pink is nice for kind of blending them together, but I did want it to stand a little bit more on its own. And the wax is kind of to help the watercolors from bleeding across too much. And you can't see it, but I went through with a dark purple to outline the eye on the moon side. Okay, now I've got my wax, my uh, watercolor crayon, so I'm gonna start filling in these details. With the watercolor crayons, I don't have to have it solidly colored in because the watercolor wash will blend it together. I decided to make the lips the same red across them. And then I'm just going in with this orange. Again, it's very loose because the watercolor is gonna blend it all and fill in all of the white spaces. Oh look, you can actually see what I did at the top there. Sorry guys. But yeah, you can see my two eyes. I want to be able to blend a little bit too, so I'm going through with the yellow as well just to add a little bit more definition slash blending, coloring in some spaces that I didn't get as good with the um, orange, kind of near the outer parts. I'm not going too much into the center. Alright, so now I've got my purple watercolor and I'm just going very faintly in with that because it's more about creating some shadow I'm, and changing the blue up a little bit. I am highlighting kind of the, the peaks of the crescent just because I thought that might be where some shadows would be naturally. And now I'm going through with my blue and a quick picture of my 
finished um, coloring. Now we need two cups of water. I'm using one for my sun, one for my blue, just to help, and the tempera paint, and some paint brushes. So I am going to start with the watercolor paints, so I'm just going to dip my paintbrush in some water and just start blending. So you can see how it's all blending together. And then the more outer water that I add to this, the more it kind of blends. So as you can see, my paintbrush was getting kind of dry when I came over to there and now I've added more and look at how much further it goes and how much darker some of this is. I'm just kind of going over that, but you can see how it's kind of, the wax is kind of stopping it a bit. And you can see I didn't have as much um, color down here, so it's a little bit harder to spread it, but I'm trying. And then just kind of going back over some places that I thought were a little bit weaker. go through and do the lip. I'm not trying to blend this too much so that it's just kind of that solid color there. And I'll just carry it over into the other one because it is all the same color. Okay, now it's time to use the tempera paint. So I put a little bit of water onto my paintbrush and then mixed into that disc and then I'm just kind of brushing it over. And then brushing over again. Help if I actually put this in frame. Again, I'm so sorry, guys. And just going over. So with this one, you kind of have to get your brush wet and then go to the uh, thing, to the disc, and then go over it. And the more water that you add into the disc, the more that the colors show up and. Yeah, I'm just gonna paint kind of the background here with that orange. It's gonna be my base color. Just try and fill in any white spots. And now I think I'm gonna go in with that kind of orangey yellow color. Again, just to add a few more shades into this. Oh, I like how this one went on. take that red and go kind of on where the wax line was. As you can see it doesn't really show up because the wax protects the paper so you don't see the paint as much. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the yellow now and just do the very edges of the page. Again just trying to fill in some of the white spots on here. Okay I'm rinsing it off. And let's, I got a different paintbrush, and let's do the moon. So I'm starting in that top corner and bringing that purple down and mixing and blending. And just bring it down, looking back and forth. So the, with this side, I'm using a smaller brush. It's one of the brushes that you would get at like a dollar tree or dollar store that's really plasticky and we're just gonna blend it it kind of works well because it holds the water a little bit better and then I go kind of flat with it and now I'm switching to a different brush and getting the tempura ready so I'm gonna start with this blue just because I again the night sky is mostly blue oh isn't that pretty this brush I don't like quite as much not like that first brush I used on the other ones I'm doing my best but yeah it's not blending as nicely 
or spreading it as nicely, I should say. I got a good dab of water on the paint that time, so you can see that nice dark blue with it. Yeah, I'm just frustrated at this point, so I'm cleaning off that brush, cleaned off the other brush, and blending in kind of that center part first. <laughs> and yeah, I went back to the good brush from, that I started with. And now I'm just gonna continue going in with that blue. So I'm just going in with the blue and filling in all of the white spots going to the very edge of it. And now to add a little bit more texture, I'm going through with some purple. I'm going really to blend it in the middle and then just kind of around the edges. And just again, add some dimension. Oh, I went way too hard with the purple right there. So I'm gonna add some blue over top and then I'm taking a dry paintbrush and kind of wiping away the paint around the stars. guys so I left my painting to dry overnight and this is my final product so again this is a simple thing to do but it's just something different I hope everyone has a great rest of your day and we'll see you next time bye